When Malcolm X came to Ghana, the African Americans who were there, we gathered around him like his children. And he liked me, and we liked each other. I met Malcolm X at my mother's house in Ghana. My mother went out and bought about six chickens, and she rarely fried chicken. And I was almost sorry to meet Malcolm X because the chicken was so good and I had to share it with him. But the thing about Malcolm is, for a person of his stature, for me to ask a question and for him to think about it and then come back with an answer, it captured my heart and his answers were so phenomenal. We wanted to meet so he could tell us what was going on in the States and what his plans were. And we found out that his quest was to find an African government that would take the United Nations Genocide Convention and make a charge against the United States. African nations and Asian nations and Latin American nations look very hypocritical when they stand up in the United Nations condemning the racist practices of South Africa and saying nothing in the UN about the racist practices manifest every day against Negroes in this society. This is Maya with me and our delegation who went into the American Embassy in Ghana to deliver our petition condemning the United States. Have you had any commitment from any nations in Africa to support you? I would rather not say at this time. In fact, we couldn't get any African government to bring any charge against the U.S. because of the American money, the cash. 